called the One Love here. Today we're talking about the Barbell Row. It's going to be the third exercise in the extension of our string series. If you recall, in our original string series, we talked about the chin up, which is a vertical pull. Today we're talking about the Barbell Row, which is a horizontal pull. I want you guys to be able to differentiate uh, the difference between those when you're trying to set up a workout. Okay, so when we're talking about any type of horizontal pulling, uh, we really want to reiterate a set shoulder position. What that means is our shoulder is set, uh, is pulled back and then set down. Our arm is allowed to move into flexion and then fully extending, flexing and then fully extending, but we do not want to see the shoulder following the arm as it's extending. We want the shoulder to stay set, and then we can pull back, and then fully extend our arm forward, okay? Another thing I want to point out is that when we have our shoulders set, it doesn't allow us to pull high to where our shoulders start to shrug into our neck. We always want to keep that shoulder set down, and our elbows are traveling close to our body, just like this, okay? So now, as, long, as far as the setup for the barbell row, uh, if you have a setup like this where you can load the bar on a stand, then go ahead and do that. And all you would do is come up to the bar, have all your weight loaded, and then come up, step back, and then get into position, and then go through your rowing. Okay? But what I'm gonna talk about is having the bar on the ground and setting up from there. So with this setup, we're gonna go through a deadlift initially. Uh, what we wanna see is that our feet are about shoulder width uh, distance apart. And the reason why we go wide is because we wanna have a nice stable base as we perform a row, okay? So here we have our toes pointing straight as always, shoulder, uh, shoulder width apart uh, with the feet. Uh, and then we're gonna go through the bracing sequence. We're gonna squeeze glutes to set the pelvis. Bring the rib cage down and squeeze the abdomen. Now we've prioritized a neutral spine. After that, what we do is we're going to hinge through the hips, shooting the hips back, and we're going to grip the bar outside of our legs. We'll then lift it up, and then what we're going to do, uh, reset here, squeeze glutes again, squeeze abdomen, and then hinge back. Okay, our shoulders are set, our chin is straight and set, we do not move that, we do not look at ourselves in the mirror, and then all we do is we pull the bar to our abdomen. Okay. I want to reiterate also that once I got set in that position, you don't see me jerking as I pull. I really want to get set in that position and pull, make sure that I make my back and my arms do the majority of the work. My hips and my feet are just the base stabilizing me in that position as I do the work. Another thing that I want to point out is you can play around with the grip. I like the overhand grip. You can play with underhand grip uh, to include some more of your biceps if you'd like. And then you can also mix up the grips that kind of send different messages through your nervous system. Just a little bit of a change in variation. Okay, that was the third exercise in the extension of our string series. Coco, do good. Like us, love, subscribe. Do good. Positive vibration. Peace out.